Today is the 10th anniversary of the Yarnell Hill fire. When it started, the fire would be known around the world as the fire that would overrun 19 hotshot members, killing them. Tonight, ABC 15 investigators Nicole Grigg brings us new images from the site. Here's from a top forest manager about future fire dangers. As we mark 10 years of the 19 lives lost, there are signs to honor and remember the Granite Mountain hotshots. And beyond the memorial, there are signs of healing as the burn scars of the Yarnell Hill fire are recovering. It's uh, basically what we call it, Intermountain uh, Chaparral, Sonora Desert Chaparral. John Truitt yeah. leads the Arizona yeah. Department of Forestry yeah. and Fire yeah. Management. Yeah. He says the type of fuel that burned here can rebound quicker than other burn scars. Compare Yarnell at 10 years to the site of the Rodeo Chetiskai fire 20 years later. In comparison to the Yarnell, it was an environmental event. When you get, you know, 60 to 80 mile an hour winds lining up in there, that was the accelerant. It was a really rapid changing fire environment. Although there are signs of resilience and hope and new growth, Truett says over time this burn scar will be more susceptible to fire again. You know, right now with, with it being a 10-year age class, it's going to be more resistant to fire, but it still will be able to burn. But once it starts getting up to that 20-year, 30-year, we need to be back in there doing our prescribed fire or letting the natural uh, ignitions do their thing. Truett talking about the need for improved land management for this area's chaparral stands to reduce the likelihood of large, devastating fires. I'm investigator Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Nicole.